Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today I want to talk about the things that have changed in Apex Legends over the year and a bit that has been out. Now we're not going to be talking about the actual gameplay changes, we're going to be talking about the changes that you may not even have noticed and when you see them it's just going to blow your mind because if you played it this time it's going to bring back memories that you never knew you had. So we're going to jump into this, we have a bunch of small changes you probably never even remembered and when you see them it's going to make you feel some sort of way for sure. Now before we get into that I do want to thank today's sponsor. I've been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It's an RPG mobile game where you collect champions and build a team to fight in dungeons or against other players in turn based combat. Click the link in the description if you want to try it. The thing I like the most about Raid is the PvP. It allows you to think more carefully about your champion lineup and how to counter other players. There are tons of champions to choose from all of which are in different factions. My favourite is the Ogryn tribe and my favourite champion is Shatterbones. Shatterbones is this big brute of an ogre. He's really big, he towers over everybody else and I always have him on my squad. Raid has also recently added champion fragments which make it easier to summon specific champions. A new bizarre area has been added where you can trade in gold bars from the tag arena for rewards and daily login rewards now go up to 270 days. Want to join me? My name is Gaming Merchant and you can join my clan. Click the link in the description to get 50k silver, 50 gems, 1 energy refill, 1 clan boss key, 50 mystery shards, 1 day xp booster and hexweaver as a free champion. The best reward is the Hexweaver, an excellent champion for new players. The treasure will be waiting for you here. So let's get into our list of crazy things that you haven't even noticed that have changed, starting with the ultimate accelerant. You may recognize this icon back all the way in season zero, maybe even season one. I mean, this thing looks straight out of a pre beta game. It's definitely different to the one we've got now. Can you remember this anyone? Does it bring back some any kind of memories? <laughs> Next we've got the knockdown shield. Now the knockdown shield right now is looking pretty decent, it covers a lot of the player but it didn't used to be that way. In fact the knockdown shield used to look like this and it was very easy to knock players who were using it. You could just go around to their side and shoot them a couple times. It's a little harder now, you can still do it, but not as easy as it used to be. Did you remember the knockdown shields being like this? They were actually like this for a long time and it didn't change until fairly recently in terms of seasonal releases. Now, do you remember the old inventory? It wasn't long ago that it changed. I believe it changed in season five of Loba. So a lot of you probably remember the old inventory or remember there being an old inventory but do you even remember what it looks like? Now I'm going to show you now and it's so weird how easy our mind adjusts to changes because I completely forgot what it looked like and now that I see the old menu it looks strange and just like uncomfortable. It's strange how when you first experience change it always feels strange and you kind of don't like it but when you get used to it and you go look at the original you're like now I see why they changed. Now if you played Apex Legends around season 2 or before then you may remember these old legend icons. Now they look really strange to see now but can you remember also at the time a lot of people didn't like it when they changed to the new icons. If you are one of those people, like personally I didn't like the new icons, if you were like me, ask yourself now, do the old icons look better or do the new icons look better? Because to me personally, now that I look back at the old ones, I prefer the new ones. Isn't it strange? Like for real, change in our minds is like just change is something that is almost uncomfortable and unsettling. Like I love pushing myself out of my comfort zone, trying new things. But seeing a change in something you see or do every day is, it just boggles your mind. And somehow we think that the old version is better but when we get used to the new version, it turns out that the new one was probably put there for the better. It happened the same with the new map as well, World's Edge. Now, a lot of people hated World's Edge. But if you ask people's opinion now, it's changed. A lot of people do like World's Edge. In fact, I'd say it's pretty 50-50. So that's a great job by Respawn there. Now, who remembers this? Right at the start of the game, there used to be a five second countdown before you picked your legend. They still have this now, but now you get sort of five seconds counting down with the background of the map you're on. In the past it was just this 5 seconds of a circle behind it and they actually changed this because by putting the map in the background it sort of helped to load the map quicker and it allowed people to get into the game quicker as far as I understand it without any problems of loading the actual game. So yeah, a small change but now that I look at this old loading thing it's just so strange to see. Now, who remembers when sniper ammo wasn't a thing? Triple takes using energy ammo, longbows using heavy ammo. Yep, I remember that time. It's strange to think that it wasn't that long ago that sniper ammo was introduced, 
and overall the meta of all weapons have changed. We've seen hop-ups come and go, we've seen weapons be moved in and out of the care package, and overall there have been a lot of changes, so it's quite strange even to see a gold mastiff now, even though that was only added in season 5. Now you may not even remember this not being here, but you see this little kill leader crown and the animation that plays, this wasn't in the game at the beginning, and they kind of added it later on. This was actually a community requested feature, so it's really nice to see that they added just small little things like that that really do help to kind of you know improve the user experience and quality of life so that's my list of changes that have happened in apex legends that you may not have remembered but now that you see them it's probably kind of blowing your mind a little bit now i also wanted to kind of bring back some more memories by showing you all of the loading screens from season zero to season five because they change over time and it might just spark some memories here for you so here we go we've got a couple different loading screens here this is the season zero one do you remember it looks very very simple then we got season one it kind of started to get a bit more detail on it season two dropped and it had this very nice design and actually season three's one was pretty cool but i absolutely love the season three fight or fright menu it was awesome. Season 4 was, was kind of like a teaser of a teaser that was going to come out later in the season. And now we've got Season 5. I wonder what we're going to be getting for Season 6. Maybe something very colourful. We'll have to wait and see for sure. Okay, so we've looked at loading screens. We've looked at UI elements and small changes to quality of life. But what about hop-ups, right? Let me show you these things. So remember the epic... Skull Piercer hop up, yeah that's right, the Skull Piercer went to purple rarity and then back to gold actually, it was originally gold, so it's just a little strange to see a purple Skull Piercer, right? Am I right? Now what about this? Do you remember the Anvil Receiver? This hop up probably didn't get much love, but it's really strange to see now looking back at it. What about the Energy Mags? Energy Mags were added to the game for a very short time. Now they kind of look a bit like the sniper mags which were also added to the game but yeah energy mags were removed maybe they'll be added again in season six we'll have to wait and see because we're getting the vault very exciting. Now there are two more vaulted hop-ups the turbocharger and of course the disruptor rounds the most disgusting hop up to be put into this game and I miss it so much. Who misses Disruptors? That season was a lot of fun even though it was so crazy. Thank you everybody for watching, thank you so much. Leave your comments below for any changes that you remember that many people may not have and I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio! Did you know I stream almost every day from 7pm UK time or 11am Pacific Standard Time? You can catch me live right here on YouTube, so make sure you have notifications turned on. I also have a new members program. Become a member for $2.99 a month, get your comments highlighted in videos, get a cool badge in live stream chat, get access to these cute emotes and also gain access to my members tips videos, where you can ask me for any tips and I'll be making new videos weekly to help you improve your own game. Click the join button or click the link in the video description to get involved.